Welcome to the Swisstronic step-by-step -step guide on how to mint an ERC-20 token using Hardhat and the Open Zeppelin Contracts Wizard. In this video, we'll cover the entire process. First, we will set up the project in Hardhat and create a new project directory. Then we will configure the Swisstronic network and set the private key. After this, create an ERC-20 smart contract using Open Zeppelin Contracts Wizard and also modify and compile the smart contract. Next, deploy the contract to the Swisstronic network and mint 100 ERC-20 tokens. We will also transfer one of the ERC-20 tokens to a specific wallet address, which is specified on the task card on the Swisstronic Testnet 2 dashboard. After this, verify the transaction on Swisstronic Blockchain Explorer. So let's get started. Part 1. Setting up the project. Before moving on to this, if you haven't yet installed Visual Studio Code for Code Editor, Node.js, and NPM, please watch our previous task guide of how to deploy a simple smart contract on Swisstronic blockchain using Hardhat. First, let's set up our project. Open your terminal and create a new project directory. Write these command mkdyr my erc20 token and navigate to this project directory. cd my erc20 token. Now install Hardhat. Use this command npm install, double dash, save dash, dev hardhat. It will take a few seconds to install. After installing hardhat, initialize a new hardhat project, npx hardhat init. When you run npx hardhat init, it sets up a basic project structure with all the necessary configuration files. Follow the prompts to create a JavaScript project. Just hit enter yes. Yes, let's open this in code editor. Use command code dot and hit enter. As you can see, few folders and files. Let's delete few file. Let's delete this file. Lock.sol in contracts folder. And also delete ignition file. Before we proceed, we need to set a variable with your private key. You will need this key to sign transactions on the blockchain. To get your private key, open your MetaMask wallet, click on the three dots in the top right corner, select account details, then click show private key and copy it. To set the variable, use the following command, npx hardhat vars set private key. After running the command, you will be prompted to enter your private key. Paste the key you copied earlier and hit enter. Next, you need to configure the Swisstronic network in our hardhat configuration file. Open the hardhat.config.js file in your project and add the following code. You can find this code in the sample repository and the script just file below. Just copy and paste into the configuration file. In this configuration, we import the necessary hardhat tools and set the Swisstronic network URL. The accounts field uses the private key you stored earlier to sign transactions. This setup allows us to deploy contracts to the Swisstronic testnet. Now you are ready for the next step. Let's create the ERC-20 smart contract. Part two, creating the ERC-20 smart contract. For this, we'll use the Open Zeppelin Contracts Wizard. Navigate to the Open Zeppelin Contracts Wizard website. You can search directly on Google. Choose ERC-20, set your token's name, symbol, and initial supply. Make sure to enable the mintable option so you can mint additional tokens after deployment. Now you have to copy the generated solidity code. Copy the code and paste it into a new file in your Hardhat Projects Contracts folder. Name the file token.soul. This file contains the solidity code for your ERC-20 token. Let's understand this ERC-20 smart contract. First line specifies the license under which the code is distributed. In this case, it's the MIT license. This line sets the solidity compiler version to 0.8.20 or higher. Different solidity versions have different features and syntax, so specifying the version ensures compatibility importing essential libraries from Open Zeppelin. Our contract test token inherits from ERC-20, giving us the core functionality for creating, managing, and approving tokens. In the constructor, we set the token name, symbol, and initial owner. 
The mint function allows the contract owner to create new tokens, providing flexibility and control. The only owner modifier ensures that only the contract owner can call the mint function, maintaining security. Now install the Open Zeppelin library in our project. To install this, run command npm install at open zeppelin slash contracts. Make sure you are in root of the project directory. After the successful installation of the open zeppelin library, we can proceed to the next step. Part three, deploying the ERC 20 smart contract. Let's deploy the smart contract using hardhat. In your project directory, create a new file in the scripts folder and name it deploy.js. Here's the deployment script. This script imports the ethers library from Hardhat, retrieves the contract factory for your ERC20 token, and deploys the contract to the blockchain. After the contract is deployed, its address is logged to the console. To deploy your contract, run the following command in your terminal. npx hardhat run scripts slash deploy.js, network Swisstronic. If the deployment is successful, you'll see your contract's address in the terminal output, just like on my screen. Please copy this contract address. Part four, minting 100 ERC20 tokens. With our contract deployed, it's time to mint our first 100 ERC20 tokens. Create a new script in the scripts folder and name it mint.js. For interacting with Smart Contract, we have to install Swisstronic.js by running npmi at Swisstronic slash utils. Let's write script for minting 100 tokens. You can find this repository in the description. Copy this mint.js script from here and paste into your mint.js file. It starts by importing the necessary modules, including hardhat and encryption utilities from Swisstronic.js. The core function here is send shielded transaction, which takes in a signer, destination address, data, and value. First, it retrieves the RPC link from the network configuration, which is essential for communicating with the blockchain. Then it encrypts the transaction data to ensure privacy and constructs the transaction using the encrypted data. In the main function, the script first identifies the signer, which is essentially your account or wallet that will authorize the transaction. It then creates an instance of a smart contract by attaching it to an already deployed contract address. Next, the script prepares to call a specific function in the contract, in this case, the mint function, to mint new tokens. It encodes this function call along with the necessary arguments, such as the recipient address and the amount of tokens to mint. The line defines an array called replace function args that contains the arguments to be passed to a smart contract function. Specifically, the first element is an Ethereum address, likely indicating the recipient's address where tokens will be minted or transferred. The second element represents the amount of tokens to be minted, expressed in its smallest unit, like Yeshuaii in Ethereum, which corresponds to 100 tokens if the token uses 18 decimal places as is common for many ERC-20 tokens. The script then sends the shielded transaction to the blockchain, waits for it to be confirmed, and finally logs the transaction response to the console for you to review. We have to paste the contract address here, which we got after the deployment of the ERC-20 contract. Let's copy it from Notepad and paste it here. And replace this address with your wallet address you have to paste your wallet address. A token will be minted onto this address. If you do not change this with your wallet address, you will not be able to transfer the token. To mint your 100 ERC-20 tokens, run the following command in your terminal. npx hardhat run scripts, sharp mint .js, network swisstronic. After running this command, you'll have successfully minted 100 ERC-20 tokens 
on the Swisstronic network. Part 5. Transferring one ERC-20 token. Next, let's transfer one ERC-20 token to a specific wallet address, which is specified on the task card on the Swisstronic Testnet 2 dashboard. Create a new script in the scripts folder and name it transfer.js. Here's the transfer script. This script attaches to the deployed contract and transfers one token to the specified wallet address. After the transfer transaction is confirmed, a success message is logged. To transfer the token, run the following command in your terminal, npx hardhat run scripts slash transfer dot js network swisstronic. Now we have successfully transferred one token. Part six, publishing the code to GitHub. Now that your project is complete, it's time to publish the code to a GitHub repository. Start with navigating to GitHub and creating a new repository. Once your repository is created, push your project files to GitHub. Use the following commands in your terminal to initialize Git, add your files, commit them, and push to the remote repository. Let's copy all command and paste into terminal. This will push all your project files to GitHub making them accessible online. Finally, we need to fill in the required details in the task card on the Swisstronic Testnet 2 dashboard. So copy the address of your deployed ERC-20 contract from your terminal. Paste the copied contract address into the designated field for the deployed ERC-20 contract address. Next, head over to your GitHub repository and copy the URL from the address bar. Paste this link into the GitHub repository field. Finally, we have to locate the transaction link of the token transfer. Just Google for the Swisstronic Testnet Explorer. or you can directly access this link, http, Explorer, evm.testnet, swisstronic.com. You can find this transaction link on a Swisstronic EVM Explorer by searching for your wallet address or the smart contract address, as you can see on my screen. Copy the transaction link and paste it into the field labeled token transaction link. Before you submit, Double check all the information to ensure accuracy. Once you're confident that everything is correct, go ahead and click the submit button to complete your task submission. Congratulations. You've successfully minted and transferred ERC-20 tokens, deployed a smart contract using Hardhat, and submitted all the necessary details to complete the task. Thank you for watching this tutorial. See you in the next video.